Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're gonna to be going over how to create a viral hook or just a simple hook inside of Premiere Pro for your short from content. And real quick before we go ahead and get started in today's tutorial, I'll let you guys know that my name is Chris Bustead and I run the Takeover shop where I sell editing assets and presets for content creators just like you. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started in today's tutorial. So first things first, you guys wanna go ahead and open up your footage, color grade, add like the audio fix, whatever. So just a very basic clip of me talking. Um, I was just talking on a call, which honestly, believe it or not, I wasn't talking anybody else just pretending for content sake quick little tip for you guys if you guys need content ideas but let's go ahead and get started in the first step so the first step for me is always just adding the actual graphics icons etc whatever you want on screen and then we'll go ahead and animate the effects later etc so let's go ahead and get a rough sketch of what we're looking for so i always start off with the tool and i talk about like copycats so i'm going to be like um i have always bin and we'll go ahead and select this all center it center it in the essential graphics tab i go right here center center sweet and then one of my fonts that i really like to use is akira you guys don't have to use this font but for tutorial sake i'm going to show you guys exactly how i edit my hooks um so you guys can see kind of how i do it and then we're going to go ahead and just duplicate this and i'm going to go ahead and double click it um and we'll just say copied and then we're gonna go ahead and select it all and then go to my other text, which is old cell Tiberian, whatever this is, um, exposing my own stuff, which, hey, you guys are here and I wanna make it worthwhile, you know what I mean? So we're, we're dropping sauce. So I do that and then I select this all, go to shadow, make this all the way dark, killer. And then I like it to where it's pointing up which I think I have it pointing down. So yeah, pointing up so that way the shadows on top kind of overlaying the text above. So we'll go ahead and do something like that, something small. Um, and as you guys can see, if we do it like a little bit more opacity, you can kind of see it overlaying just like so. So that actually looks really good to me. Um, that's good. So that looks good. Um, let's say you guys want to go ahead and add an icon. We can do that. So for tutorial's sake, I wouldn't usually do this for my videos, but we're going to go to um, grab a icon. And one of the icons that I really like to use because I'm an editor, obviously I'm editing this video. We're not editing, but I'm showing you guys how this thing works. We're going to go ahead and import an icon. Sweet. Drag and drop. Just like so. Then we'll resize it just to kind of where we want it. Let's say we want it like this, or let's say we want to bring it over to the right a little bit. Just like that. Sweet. Now, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna right click and nest this because I changed the actual size so much that the effects and animations that I add to it later are gonna be affected, so I don't want that. Anyways, so now that we have the actual structure of the hook, now is the fun part, we get to add our own animations. What I actually do is I just go ahead and drag and drop my presets. Now, you guys can go ahead and watch other tutorials on how to do it. Um, but for me, I'm just going to drag and drop. So I'm going to do a slide in up and then I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a slide in up just like so sick, but I would say I want it to be like staggered a little bit. So I want the copy to come in later and I want the premiere pro lo logo to come in later. Just like that. So that's a drag and drop process. It looks really, really good. I'm going to cut these all at the same spot at the end because that's kind of where the hook ends. And then. I'm gonna drag and drop a subtle sort of shake effect. Kind of just make it look really clean, kind of all tie it together. So we go down here, shake slow, see how that looks. Sweet, I actually like this slow, so we're gonna keep it. First things first, what I really like to do for the top text layer is select it all and then go to opacity and go to blend mode and then go to difference. And what that does is it kind of makes like a cool, unique um, sort of effect with like the different colors that it passes through. So as you can see, the background affects the actual layer. And let's actually make this a little bit smaller, just like that. I have always been copied. So that actually looks really good. Now I'm just going to go ahead and add an effect, which is a glow to the copied part. Um, so I'm just going to drag this up, create a little space, duplicate it, and then select it go over here to my presets again 
you guys can go watch tutorials on this i actually have tutorials on a lot of these effects inside of this preset because i want if you guys want to put in the work you guys can actually do it so just drag and drop and you guys have a glow now that looks really really good we can do the same exact thing add a glow to this icon which is exactly what i'm gonna go ahead and do but we're gonna go over to the exposure because it is an icon so there's a little workaround for that is we want the glow to be white and the way you do it is you go into curves and you just drag everything up just like so and you'll see the glow but we want the glow to be on the bottom so it kind of adds like that glow later so as you guys can see there's a glow and if we wanted to go ahead and change the color we could also change the color so that's pretty clean now the last sort of couple extra steps is adding a camera movement and adding the camera movement you just go to adjustment layer you guys can use the transform tool but i don't like to do it on the actual video layer i like to add it in adjustment layer simply because it like makes it more of a 3d camera look and that's kind of what we're going for let's go ahead and do a smooth zoom in drag and drop it just like so just like that but let's say we actually want it to be a little longer And let's say I actually want something like this. Sweet. I actually like that a lot. And let's say we actually want to do another smooth zoom in, but we want it to be directly in the intro. I really like to do in the beginning of my videos is a really big zoom in. So let's go to transform and I'll show you guys how I do it exactly. So you go over here, you go to scale and then you drag this over and then you just drag this to like 300 or something crazy and then select both of these go to bezier and then you want to go to this little carrot icon and then play with the animation so because it's like an intro animation you want it you want to play with something like this make the layer look something like that play with the curve um, you want the curve up top to be a very smooth one similar to that and then we'll kind of just play with this, see how it looks. Real quick, I forgot, add motion blur, just like that. And just like that, that looks sick. And then let's say we want to add a little anime out of all of these sort of effects. So I'm going to cut it just like this. So that way when I apply the preset, the preset is synced sort of in like the same time, if that makes sense. So we're going to take over and we'll do slide down out and everything will kind of slide out at the same exact time. Now for the last step, go ahead and add the transition overlays. For me, I actually have my own overlays right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and use this one, import, just like so. Go to screen, just like that. Duplicate it, cut it in half because it's in the beginning, and then just drag it to the beginning, just like so. Sick. Real quick, before I leave you guys in this tutorial, the hook is actually completed, but let's say you want to save this hook for next videos to come. So that way your, your workflow is really, really fast. You can actually create project template files, which is exactly what I have done inside my viral hooks pack. So let's go ahead and show you guys exactly how to do that. So, or go to file, go to new sequence, and then just do uh, whatever. Then we're going to go, we're going to exit out of this and it's widescreen. Just go to sequence settings, 10. 80 by 1920 hit enter and you're good and then just control v paste it and then you have the hook for later on so it'll have the adjustment layer it'll have the text in the future you can go ahead and actually use this just copy and paste it for your next videos coming up so if you have client work this is going to save you so so much time but Let's say you don't want to go ahead and do this and create it your own. I actually have a template pack. I have a viral hooks pack and then I also have my own editing style. Premiere Pro project template is pretty gas. I'm actually going to be making a video on it tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. So real quick, before I go ahead and end out this tutorial, let me show you guys how to actually save this. You guys want to go over to file project manager, and then you guys are going to see this collect files and copy to new location. And then you want to make sure the sequence that you want to save is right here. Um, and then exclude unused clips, include audio conform files, include preview files. I don't need that. Rename media files to match clip names. That's good to go. And then you just throw it to where you want to save it. And then you go ahead and hit okay. And then you hit yes. And then the template file has been saved for you. So anyways, guys, I really hope this video was like super helpful. I know this last part of the tutorial is super, super helpful because I've been using this each and every single day in my short from content workflow. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Remember, take action, take over, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.